Hey everybody, welcome to today's transmission which is lining up with the Gemini full moon on the 27th of November but it is relevant at any time if you're finding this. Um, so today's transmission is very much about endings and new beginnings, laying really strong foundations, accessing abundance and eliminating poverty consciousness. So about a week ago, um, in a spontaneous conversation with my light language friend, Delphia, uh, we had some activations come through, which we recorded, uh, the, we recorded the focal point of that. And uh, there are light codes in that, which I'll be sharing with you. And it was all about the spiritual mechanism of how we align to our soul purpose and that creates our instant soul-filled manifestations and eliminates poverty consciousness and uh, really brings in that infinite self-powered gratitude, which then perpetuates the abundance in all areas. So we can talk about monetary abundance, health abundance, relationship abundance, um, and just really getting on that spiritual path um, where you're fulfilled and really enjoying being in your life purpose, which has so many other knock effects, knock on effects in your own life and in the life of others that you come in contact with. Um, so after that transmission, I found myself um, not fully consciously <laughs> creating um, some little gardens in teacups which were um, bringing in the codes for success and abundance in various areas such as relationships, health and um, business success. Um, and um, watching also as I ground those codes that were coming in in these little creations, watching how that shifts things in my own life. So those codes are really grounded and I'll bring those through as well. I've got them here on the table, the portal, <laughs> where I bring through my transmissions with the crystals underneath the glass table. So the cards that have come through today um, are just not surprisingly, very in alignment to the theme. Um, they're from three different packs. The first one, they're actually from four different packs, a card from each pack. So the first one is let your light shine. And this is the card. These are the energies that are coming in from above. Be your true self, be authentic. Don't worry about what everyone else thinks. Uh, being yourself attracts to you those people that... Um, are your tribe and the people that um, also you give and receive from, uh, who it's a joyful giving and receiving. You're not changing yourself to fit in, which is something that we're really shifting out of as we ascend. Um, the next card that came through was Endings for Beginnings. And this is really letting go of those things when you've lined up to your authentic self and being your authentic self, letting go of those things that you can feel from that space. They don't fit. You've learned from them. It's time to move on from them, letting them go with love and gratitude for what they've brought to you. And then the new beginnings that come from that. So these are the things that come in. So the new beginnings are coming from your authentic truth, from your soul desires, from your joy and gratitude. And then the um, at the foundation, so at the base, this is the action card. These are the codes that I'm bringing in um, during this transmission to really harness those energies from above that are available for us now at this time during this full moon. Um, and always really, but especially during this full moon. And then the outcome card is windfall of abundance. <laughs> so just really beautifully um, aligned cards coming into what I've been feeling in the collective energies and what I've been grounding myself. So I'm going to read you each of the cards and then we'll bring through the light codes. So even while I'm just speaking, I'm not speaking light language, 
I'm still bringing through codes because I've been living these codes through my energy field and I'm connecting to you from my heart. So from that place, from my heart and soul. So from that place, you can receive them uh, through this transmission, through just watching the video. So the first card is let your light shine. I'm going to read that now. Today, embrace your uniqueness. Say to yourself, I'm so pleased and honoured to be me. Embrace the parts of you that may feel a little strange. They feel this way because you resist experiencing the fullness of you. We can all feel a little odd or peculiar at times, longing to be like everyone else and just fit in. But compromise breeds resentment. Locking yourself into the pretense of what others want will strangle your soul and split you in two. Accept yourself, set yourself free from judgment and what you perceive others think about you. Let your soul shine outward and inspire others to connect. Embrace and shine their truth. When we're aligned with our soul, we feel loved and satisfied. We no longer need others to lean on, to fill our perceived voids or to be different to who they are. Instead, we want to be with others for the pure joy of it. Create new ways towards anything that is of interest to you. Can you feel relief wash over you? You are beautiful. And then the other energies coming in from above aligned to the abundance windfall. That was aligned to the um, creating foundations for new growth. And this is aligned to the endings for beginnings after the abundance. Relationships are an essential and beautiful means by which humans can share love and grow in spiritual maturity and understanding. Some relationships will be able to evolve and be long-lasting. Others may be of a shorter duration yet offer a significant opportunity for healing. Sometimes relationships cannot continue because they've run their course. As we practice a kinder, wiser and more loving inner relationship with ourselves, we'll be able to gracefully release outer relationships that have come to their karmic conclusion while fostering mutually enhancing connections. There's always a possibility for learning regardless of a relationship status and therefore no need for regret or blame. Um, so I'm going to read you the windfall of abundance before we actually um read the dragon because the dragon is the energies we're going to actively bring in an increase in abundance is arriving in many different forms some of them unexpected be open to receiving and know that this abundance comes to you to support your life purpose health and charitable work so what what i'm getting there is that and what's come up as well what i've been feeling the energies is that our soul is calling for the abundance required to enable us to have the joy of fulfilling our soul purpose, our mission that we feel inspired to do down on the ground in our day-to-day -day life in an easeful way that doesn't contain struggle. We don't always need to learn from struggle. Sometimes ease and simplicity is what's um, actually the more efficient and effective way to learn. Um, so we're calling in the resources abundantly that we need to be able to be our full potential and take our place in the big picture in the world where we fit perfectly and we love what we're doing. And that call is being met. There is an opportunity for that call to be met now. And the price of that is letting go of the things that don't bring you joy, that are not easy, that are not simple. And that doesn't mean being lazy, that means being efficient and bringing the energies of joy, peace and love and presence into what you're doing, bringing your heart and soul into what you're doing and not so much of the things you think from patterning and the past need to be done to take you forward. 
really feeling your way. Um, so I'm going to read the Earth and Water Dragon now. Creates the foundations for new growth. A fresh start is coming with new opportunities. Nurture your ideas and harvest the abundance. Fourth dimensional brown and green earth and water dragons bring the blessings of a new opportunity. They symbolise the energy and timing to ensure it blossoms. The element of earth enables us to ground our projects while the element of water enables us to flow with them. When combined in the earth and water dragon, these are very auspicious qualities. When mixed together in the physical world, earth and water create mud, which is excellent for growth of seeds. If you're planting a tree, you place its roots in the soil and make sure it has a good foundation. When you activate its growth with water, in due course, you harvest the fruit. The more effort you put into providing the perfect conditions for the tree, the better the crop. This card is showing you this is a good time to create. With the gracious assistance of the earth and water dragons, you can lay strong foundations for the future. Picking this card suggests it's time to start a new phase of your life. Fresh opportunities may be presenting themselves to you, so be ready to nurture any ideas or visions that come to you. The earth and water dragons will enable you to know intuitively what is right for you and to harness your creativity. They will help you to generate the right conditions to succeed. They will motivate you to put in the necessary work, for this is an important step, and then you can harvest your abundance. Most importantly, they will help you to take things lightly. So listen to your inner wisdom. The time for action is now. I was also guided to watch some astrology, um, ethereal astrology. It used to be called Wonder Girl. I'll put the link below. Um, and she was emphasising, yes, the new beginnings, but also that there are challenges in really still having things from the past to clear and the difficulty in thinking in a new way when you're still connected to old patterns um, in terms of this full moon presents particular challenges in communication um, and in interpreting correctly why you are where you are and what the next steps are. And I feel that that was important. Um, I kept getting guided to watch that over and over again until I did. So it just kept popping up. So I watched it just actually before this transmission. And I feel that this earth and water dragon is bringing in the antidote to that. So it's helping you work through those old ways of thinking um, that are stopping you from laying a new kind of foundation and also bringing through that clarity because it says here they um, will help you know which work to do really, know what's right for you and harness that, that energy that's coming from your soul in the right direction rather than in a direction that an old way of thinking might still be pushing you to make. Um, and that was the major challenge that the the planets at the moment are bringing in. So this is bringing the codes to help you really get over that hurdle and really harness those new opportunities and that windfall of abundance coming in. So uh, let's uh, do some light language now. Let's um, channel. Okay, so I'm, just, I'm seeing endings for new beginnings. We're bringing in endings, new beginnings. We're bringing in the energy and the light codes from that love, passion, romance. It seems to be very much related to relationships, um, even relationships with yourself and bringing that love into them. Ta -ta 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 -ta. So there are a lot of love hearts in, in this little tea garden creation I've made and I see them in the card also at the at the top there there's a love heart and the light is shining through that so bringing in those light codes now i'm seeing success from the other little teacup garden and that is right next to the Let Your Light Shine card. And the little hearts are actually 
the same color as the heart at the top there. So we're bringing those codes in there. That one is about success, prosperity, manifestation, and longevity. Laying the foundations for success and manifestation. They're telling me also that is wealth, that is money as well. So prosperity in a financial way, in a business way, in terms of a lifestyle way as well. Right, really feeling that dropping through. I felt that... Uh, really move through all of your sacral chakras and anchor now we're in the earth and water dragon creating the foundations planting the seeds from our soul they show me the moon so that's a new moon in the background so what i'm feeling is that and i've been seeing a lot of these spirals the, the tail is a spiral so what i'm feeling there is that um, between the full moon and the new moon, um, there is a foundation and new opportunities coming in for the new beginning. So like really trusting you yourself and your intuition as to what feels right and what doesn't. Um, rather than interpreting with your mind and perhaps even coming to the wrong conclusions. Akatata I'm really feeling that heart activation and the solar plexus activation. Um, when I'm talking about the heart activation, I'm talking about the poverty consciousness clearing that came through last week, which I will also pop at the end of this transmission. So you can just um, listen to it as it came in. It's only about three minutes long. <sighs> really feeling golden energy moving through, breathing through the being, coming through the heart and the solar plexus, out through the hands, out through the feet chakras. It feels very abundant. So I'm hearing from that windfall of abundance card about be open to receiving and know that it's coming to you to support your life purpose. It, you've called it in. It's an answer to your prayers it's your order being delivered so receive it move out any undeservedness any unworthiness any lack of confidence really feeling that in your base chakra receive it into your base chakra now Ah, oh, that is really good. That's really coming into the base chakra. I'm getting the prayer hands or the divine in me meets the divine in you. So I feel it is meeting the divine in yourself. Um, and meeting that in the physical world 
receiving the abundance that you are in the higher levels in your soul where all your needs are met at those levels and allowing that to permeate through to your real life on the ground day-to-day -day living let that joy from your soul that deservedness from that from your soul the self-love from your soul and the knowing of what to do from your soul to permeate through your base chakra into the earth and i feel you like slipping into place in in the higher earth grids in like a jigsaw puzzle piece slotting into place yeah. <sighs> okay. Yeah, that feels really complete and balanced and peaceful and loving and potent. So potent, so powerful. So um, do be aware that you've received a lot of codes there. What's likely to come up are... Uh, Anything that is blocking your way to success and abundance, you'll probably see them come up in your life. Um, just be conscious of them. Bring love to it. Know they're coming up for you to see as they're moving out. Um, and really open yourself to receive what you've called for, what you've ordered that's being delivered. Uh, listen to your body. Drink a lot of water. Rest as much as you need to. Um, stick around for that three minute um, explanation of clearing poverty consciousness and also if you um, are interested in having a reading yourself I do those you can go to my website um, a reading or a healing consultation um, and also I bring codes into art and products and some of those are on Etsy um, so many more are not yet <laughs> so many but um, yeah, keep an eye out because I will be gradually getting those online too. Blessings, everybody. The spinning disc in the pineal activates the spinning disc in the soul seat, which activates the spinning disc in the hara, which opens up, which accelerates achievement creates instant access to any desire that comes through the alignment of the three tantians, so from the soul purpose, soul alignment, hara. So anything called forth from the soul has instant access. And... Yeah. It's powered by infinite gratitude. So infinite gratitude has been activated. It's like a motor that's that's accelerated. Yeah. So it was started, it was ignited, then it was accelerated, and now it's held in acceleration by, by the infinite, infinite gratitude, gratitude, which it generated itself which is really which, yeah. which powers it yeah. and there's a constant mantra going on that's powering that instant gratitude there's a mantra in the energetic saying infinite gratitude infinite gratitude infinite gratitude and that in itself is infinite which means that this motor is perpetual and is also powered infinitely because it's the infinite gratitude that powers it. It's <laughs> it's a self-powering machine. <laughs> yeah, and there, were, there were three things, right? Because it was that that infinite gratitude, and then the accelerated achievement, and the instant access. To the soul, soul called desires.
all powered by infinite gratitude. So called desires. That's perfect. And the infinite gratitude activates the heart chakra. And poverty first thing. And poverty consciousness is eliminated. So at the very start as the dig started to spin, the words poverty consciousness gone came up. <laughs> 